A capillary with diameter is submerged in water such that length of the part protruding over the water surface is h. Find the curvature radius of the meniscus. So because he is asking about the curvature radius of the meniscus and he has given the height of the capillary itself, not the rise of water in the capillary. That means water had risen all the way to the top of the capillary. So what cases we generally do is capillary is sufficiently long and we find at equilibrium what is the height. But here the height of the capillary is quite small. So the water will reach to the top but it's not going to become a fountain or anything because the curvature of the meniscus will now start to increase. And how much it will eventually will be, so it will, so as the, so you can imagine that as this uh, curvature increases, this pressure is going to be less and less. So the curvature will continue to increase until this pressure becomes quite less, such that this pressure is same as atmospheric pressure. After that, the pressure is balanced, so the meniscus will not change. So let's calculate what is that radius of meniscus. So we are going to equate pressure only. So P1 is equal to P4 is what we are going to do and we are going to go through this route. So P1 plus, sorry, P1 minus 2s by R plus rho GH is equal to P4. So if we replace P1 and P4 by P0, so P0 minus 2s by R plus rho g h is equal to p4. So that's what we have written, p0 minus 2s by r plus rho g h is equal to p0. So p0 will get cancelled and you will get capital R is equal to 2s by rho g h. Or our standard equation, which if you remember, small h is equal to 2s by rho g r. Excuse me. All right, now, so what happens as you increase the height of the glass capillary? So from this formula we can see as small h increases because when you give it more length to rise up small h is going to increase. That means r is going to be less. So if this uh, height is lesser the r is going to be larger and when this height is more R is going to be less. So you can uh, just compare this diagram with this. So you can see that here we have more length of the capillary. So this circle is smaller and this circle is bigger. So this is the extreme case when the capillary is sufficiently long and it reaches H max. So when it reaches H max, so let's read that. So R increases as you increase H. But beyond a certain point, R cannot be further reduced. So R reaches its minimum value, which is small r by cos theta, which if you remember, we just did in the previous diagram, I'll just show you. So this is the minimum value of uh, capital R, which is R by cos theta, because cos theta is the angle of contact and theta cannot be less than angle of contact. See, it can be more than angle of contact if this, if you're restricting the height of capillary, but theta cannot be less than angle of contact, which means this value is minimum because when theta is minimum, then R by cos theta is also minimum, which means capital R is also minimum. So R reaches its minimum value when its value is small r by cos theta. And in that case, H will be maximum. So if you replace this R in this equation by R by cos theta, you will get H max, which if you remember, which is the standard height of the uh, rise of capillary, rise of water in, rise of liquid in capillary. Just think about what I've said here and you will understand what I'm trying to.